Hey there, Steve here. Welcome to another episode of Inspiring Math Rock Style Riffs. For this episode, we have a wonderful riff that helped teach you some conventional math rock style finger tapping technique. The riff is from a song called Nature Kids by one of my much loved math rock bands called Gulfa. What you'll hear next is a playthrough along with the tab. Then after this, I'm gonna give you a little tutorial walkthrough and give you some tips and tricks on how to play it quite easily. So there was the riff at full speed. It could be a little intimidating for some. So now I'd like to give you some tips and tricks, some pointers on how to play this riff in this little uh, tutorial segment. So I'm gonna break this riff into two parts. We'll have this section first. And then when the tempo um, increases, we'll have this part. So first thing we want to think about our what, which fingers to use for both hands here. This is a two-handed tapping piece. If you're new to this, um, don't fret. There's some patterns here that can really help you and um, some repetition that's going to really help too. So with our strumming hand, we're going to use a pick because they use a pick on the song. So therefore, we're going to practice that style and we'll use our middle and our ring finger to do the tapping there. On our fretting hand, this is quite easy actually. Um, we're just going to be using uh, the index and the middle finger for the entire riff. And the spacing is always the same as well. It's always this E and D string. So at the beginning of the riff, we're going to start on the ninth fret here and tap on this. And then we'll bring in the 12th fret with our middle finger here on the D string. And we'll pull off there. And now we'll bring in the other thing, uh, the other finger, the other finger on our um, on our fretting hand here, the middle finger. And then after that, we'll tap with our ring finger on the 14th fret. So that's probably the most difficult part of this section because it's, it's quite speedy. And notice how you'll hold this note with your index finger for the whole thing to give it like this underlying, you know, kind of bass note. Then we come down to the seventh fret. We're going to have the same spacing with our fretting hand here again, but this time we're going to hammer on like this. Straight away with the middle finger, and then we will we will tap the ninth fret on the D string with our middle finger, and slide up to the eleventh fret. So to go over that again, and then we'll come down to the fifth fret uh, to end the, that that part of this riff. Uh, the other thing to notice is this is a bar of 7, 8, then a bar of 4-4. Uh, four, four. Uh, but don't worry about that. Um, there's an easy way to count this. So separate that bar of 7, 8 into a count of 3, f three and 4 like this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I like to count the bar of 4-4 four, four as like a bar of 8 basically. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, for the next part of the riff, um, the tempo actually increases a little bit. Um, your fretting hand is still doing a similar job here. It's the, yeah, the E and the D string space. Uh, on the fifth fret, then to the second fret. Then comes up to the fourth fret. 
there's a repeating pattern going on here. So once you get it down, it's not too difficult because it just moves, um, you know, basically up and down and up the frets again. I'll just demonstrate that quickly for you. We come back to the start of the phrase again there. So the rhythm is exactly the same actually as the this part here. Just a little quicker. Can you hear the similarity there? It's the same um, same phrase basically. So for this one, you'll start again um, hammering on with the low E with um, your fifth or the fifth fret this time there, and you're going to hold that note again as well, and then you're going to hammer on much like you did on the 12th fret up here with your middle finger, but this time on the 7th fret. And then you'll pull off as well on that one. So again, it's the same pattern as it was at the start of this first riff here, but faster um, and in a different place, of course. But you'll hammer onto the 5th fret with your middle finger. And uh, to complete this bit of the phrase, you'll use your uh, ring finger on the seventh fret on the G string. So notice the similarity now, but it's just gonna be uh, slightly quicker. So after that, it's not too difficult. It's just another repeating phrase. So I want you to think of that as the initial idea here. And then we have a, so hammer onto the fifth fret again. This time come up to the B string on the seventh fret. And after that first phrase, basically now you'll hammer onto the fifth fret again, and then the fifth fret on the D string as well, and then onto the seventh fret on the B string. So it goes. It's like that very characteristic uh, angular melody that you get in math rock, but it's quite quick. They don't really get time to notice it that much. And then to complete this bit, you'll hammer onto the fifth again and to the seventh fret on the G string. So I'll play that slowly for you. Now the, the beauty of this little riff now is these fingers on your fretting hand will move to the second fret then the fourth fret but these fingers here um, you know on your strumming hand they're playing the same notes so that's you know the beauty of the repetition but with some moving um, harmony. So same thing again, but now uh, from the second fret. And then we move up to the fourth fret straight away. So only one cycle on that one. The same there. So you get two cycles on this uh, fifth fret here, one cycle on the second fret and one cycle on the fourth fret. So I'll play that through slowly for you. So that's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much for sticking around if you're still at the end here and I hope you find this video uh, incredibly useful. Um, I want to say as always thank you very much to the patrons that support this channel and if you haven't checked out much of Golfer's back catalogue uh, go ahead and have a listen. They've got an EP called What what gives as well, which is an absolutely fantastic EP. And that's how I first heard of Golfer. All right, until next time, goodbye.